A blessed day, everyone. As we continue our online program, allow me to bring you to our beloved diocese, the Diocese of La Union, Ilocos Sur, and Abra, or more popularly known as the Diocese of Luisa. It is composed of three provinces, La Union, Ilocos Sur, and Abra, where it got its name from the first letters of each province. LU from La Union, IS from Ilocos Sur, and A from Abra, to complete the word Luisa. Our diocese originally has 17 parishes and three missions, but for some reasons, we have 16 regular at present. For the province of La Union, we have Baknotan and Kaba. For Ilocos Sur, we have Babaywan, Kabugao, Deligan, Tarfakan, Sacedo, San Esteban, Santo Domingo, Sevilla, Sinait, Suyo, and Tamoron. In Abra, we have Dolores, La Paz, Tagangilang, Pidigan, and Badaslam Ag San Juan. The diocese evolved from the combined split combined pattern of composition because the three provinces it covers has its own unique history to tell. La Union was among the first proposed dioceses in the IFI. In 1910, the people of Cabal La Union renounced their faith in the Roman Church when the Romanist priest in Arangay refused to celebrate Holy Mass because they failed to pay Aransel in the amount of 30 pesos. Aransel means the practice of giving stipends to priests for specific church services. Don Isabelo Maglaya decided to erect a chapel within his parcel of land in the town and invited an IFI priest from Ilocos to serve their spiritual needs. Since then, Kaba became a bastion of IFI in La Union. As years passed by, La Union was annexed to the different provinces nearby, and finally, to Ilocos Sur. On the other hand, at the inception of the Filipino Church in 1902, the whole province was constituted as the Diocese of Abra. Moved patriotically by the burning nationalist aspirations of the time, the whole populace went over with a newly established Iglesia Filipina Independiente. The only Filipino priest in Abra, Reverend Father Ramon Farolan of Banged, also joined the new church. He was nominated and eventually became the first bishop of the new diocese. The pioneer parishes in Abra were in the old towns of Banged, Dolores, La Paz, Tagangilang, Pidigan, and San Juan. Like Abra, the whole province was constituted in 1902 as the Diocese of Ilocos Sur with Bishop Candido Hironilia as the first bishop. Among the prominent initiator of our church in the province were Don Lino Abaya of Candon and Don Estanislao Reyes and Don Mena Crisologo of Vigan, who later became congressman and governor respectively. The pioneer parishes that positively responded to the call for the Filipinization of the Catholic Church were Vigan, Ervacan, Sinait, Cabugao, Sevilla, Santa Cruz, Salcedo, Santo Domingo, and the town of Candon that served as the diocesan seat of Bishop Hironilia. After the demis of the old but patriotic Bishop Hironilia, Ilocos Sur was also annexed to the adjoining provinces like Ilocos Norte and Pangasinan. So now, the present composition of the diocese is the pooling of provinces that used to be independent dioceses during the early period of Iglesia Filipina Independiente. After the passing of glorious years, these former dioceses were gathered as one diocese since 1956, and then known as the Diocese of La Union, Ilocos Sur, and Abra. Its first diocese and bishop was Monsignor Manuel Apostol. Following Bishop Apostol as diocesan bishops, 
were Bishop Gregorio Jose, Bishop Onofre Edroso, Bishop Moises Maria Ganaden, Bishop Arturo Gernalda, Bishop Roberto Flores, Bishop Edilberto Bautista, Bishop Ignacio Bose, Bishop Ernesto Tadli, Bishop Tomas Milliamena, Bishop Efraim Fahutagana as OIC, Bishop Warlito Baldomero as OIC, Bishop Emiliano Domingo as OIC, Bishop Vermilion Tagalog, and Bishop Jed Manzano. As to implementation of programs and projects cascaded by the National Church, the diocese is also compliant. It may not be remitting a huge amount, but each and every little poor parish has its own share to the journey of the diocese. When the TYSP and the TYRP were launched, the diocese faithfully implemented the following programs. 1. Membership, Education, and Nurture We believe that there is a need to educate our members, and after educating them, there is a need to nurture, and lastly, empower them. Conduct of Sunday schools, vacation church schools, and parish-based Bible studies were the main focus conducted by the diocese on its first year of implementation. 2. On their mission, evangelism, and church vocation campaign and lay ministers' formation were the initial activities undertaken to achieve the objectives of this program. Almost every year, the diocese never failed to send its seminarians at Aglipay Central Theological Seminary. Some are now serving the diocese, and this year we have three seminarians, two from Abra, Brother Exel Mark Vincent Gimayan of La Paz, and Brother Melvin Ayaw of Dolores Abra. We have one from Ilocosur, Sister Rhea Jem Guzman of Sinai. 3. Stewardship and Resources Development Pledging system including managing land resources was strengthened, and titling church properties was likewise given priority. 4. For institutional and organizational development, the diocese and bishop down to the tri-sectoral organizations actively participated on the national trainings conducted. We echo to their own organizations follow to capacitate their respective members. One significant achievement of the diocese was when the centralization of funds was brought down to the region. The diocese was one of those who first implemented the 60-40 scheme in 2012 during the leadership of Bishop Vermilion Tagalog. As the first in North Central Luzon Regional Conference, it served as benchmarking material. It is worth mentioning the campaign of the diocese for individual pledging as component of our 6040 scheme, since their pledges are the backbone of the church's mission and ministry. Because of the financial struggle of the diocese, the Synod approved a program entitled Seminarians Clergy Welfare Fund, a program that addresses the mode of the diocese to finance the youth to enter the seminary using 70% of it while the other 30% shall serve as retirement benefit of the clergy. The implementation of the reshuffling of clergy following the centralization of funds was a big challenge to the diocese. But empowered as such, the members gradually accepted that this is the program of the church. The Diocese of La Union, Ilocosur, and Abra comprises the following parishes with their corresponding parish priests and addresses.